Hi Capricorn, this is a peek at your partner for the week of June the 19th through June the 25th, 2022. Universal Energies, show me what I need to see for the partner of the star sign of Capricorn for June the 19th through June the 25th, 2022. Universal Energies, show me what I need to see. For the partner of the star sign of Capricorn for June the 19th through June the 25th, 2022. Universal Energies, show me what I need to see. For the partner of the star sign of Capricorn for June the 19th through June the 25th, 2022. Show me. You guys, subscribe, like, comment, and share these videos. If this does not resonate with you, check your moon, rising, and Venus sign videos. I do not read reversals. So, Capricorn. Capricorn, this is a peek at your partner. So Capricorn, your partner has the star. Your partner has the eight of wands. Your partner has the four of cups. Your partner has the six of wands. And your partner has the world. So Capricorn, your partner has a star. Could be dealing with an Aquarius, but the star symbolizes having hope, having faith, healing, getting their wish, being divinely guided, following their destiny. So Capricorn could be dealing with an Aquarius, but your partner could tell me that they're getting their wish, following their destiny. Your partner could tell me that they need to heal individually on their own, or they're holding out hope and faith that you guys can heal things, mend things, work things out, and reconcile. Clarify the star for Capricorn's partner. Clarify the star for Capricorn's partner. Clarify the star for Capricorn's partner. It is clarified with the five of pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is your partner feeling neglected, abandoned, excluded, left out in the cold. This can speak to financial lack and poverty consciousness. This could be a breakup. So Capricorn, listen, you know, your partner could tell me that something is going on with them financially here, some type of financial lack. However, your partner could tell me that there was a breakup here, okay? Then your partner could tell me, yes, there was a breakup and I need to heal individually on my own. Your partner could tell me that, yes, there was a breakup, but I'm holding out hope and faith that we can heal things, mend things, work things out and reconcile. Also with the star, this is a travel card. It may be some type of financial lack dealing with travel here. Capricorn, your partner has the Eight of Wands, Aries, Leo, or Sag. This can indicate that things are happening quickly. This can speak to travel. But this is the fast, rapid moving energy of communicating back and forth over the airways, the internet, with text messages, messenger, WhatsApp, emails, phone calls, even face to face communication. But this is also the fast, rapid moving energy of being intimate. So listen, Capricorn. Your partner could tell me that something is happening quickly here. This could involve travel. Your partner could tell me that you guys had a heated discussion or argument throwing fiery dots at one another. Or someone was communicating passionately online with someone else or being intimate with someone else. Clarify the eight of wands for Capricorn's partner. Clarify the eight of wands for Capricorn's partner. Clarify the eight of wands for Capricorn's partner. It is clarified with the Eight of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is mastering their craft, perfecting their skills, trades, and abilities. This is your partner throwing themselves into their work. But this can also speak to them being willing to work on it or put in the work. So listen, Capricorn, you know, this could all be work or business, maybe some type of travel for work here, some type of distance for work here because of financial lack. However, your partner could tell me that, you know, you guys may have had this heated discussion or argument. You know, throwing fiery dots at one another or someone was communicating passionately online with someone else or being intimate with someone else. But maybe they're willing to work things out, heal things with you. 
Listen, Capricorn, your partner has the Four of Cups, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. There's an offer on the table that your partner is not accepting nor rejecting. They're contemplating this offer, but actually they're bored with the offer, thinking of missing the offer. But this is also a card of your partner contemplating sending an offer, but they fear that the offer would be rejected. So Capricorn, listen, very well could be an offer coming into your partner that they're thinking about missing. However, your partner could be contemplating sending a offer, but they fear it won't be accepted. Clarify the Four of Cups for Capricorn's partner. Clarify the Four of Cups for Capricorn's partner. Clarify the Four of Cups for Capricorn's partner. It is clarified with the Page of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is news or a message about a solid, stable, committed offer. Now, this can be the news about an offer for an invite out for dinner in a movie. This can be about making things more committed. This can be about a lump sum of money, a job offer, a raise, a promotion, a bonus. A high ticket item purchase, a new home, a new car, a token of love, a gift, anything of value. This is the news or message of it. So Capricorn, some type of news about practicality, money, assets, resources, property, accepting a gift, giving a gift, going out on a date, or a commitment. Clarify the page of pentacles for Capricorn's partner. Clarify the page of pentacles for Capricorn's partner. Clarify the page of pentacles for Capricorn's partner. It is clarified with the Eight of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is walking away from people, places, and things that no longer serve them. This is your partner detaching emotionally, feeling emotionally drained, and just walking away from people, places, and things that no longer serve them. So Capricorn, listen, your partner could tell me that they're walking away, detaching emotionally here. <clears throat> Dealing with some type of practicality or commitment, maybe they're refusing a cup. However, when we're dealing with the Eight of Cups, this is someone who's leaving in search of their Nine of Cups, their wish fulfillment. And oftentimes they find that the grass is not greener on the other side, so they end up returning. So there may be your partner wanting to return here to make this offer concerning practicality or commitment here, okay? Could be walking away from it. Could be leaving because of it. Because it's all could be work or business here. And they're thinking about, I don't know if I should. Your partner has the six of wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is getting attention. Getting recognition. Rising above the crowd. Getting the accolades. The pats on the back. Being triumphant. Getting the victory. Victory and success. But this can also speak to your partner. Something being brought to your partner's attention. Or they're beginning to recognize something. Or they're getting attention and recognition. So listen, Capricorn, your partner could tell me that they're getting your attention. Yes, you could be getting their attention. Your partner could tell me that something is being brought to their attention. They're beginning to recognize something. This can be some type of success or awards here. Also, maybe an announcement being made. Clarify the Six of Wands for Capricorn's partner. Clarify the Six of Wands for Capricorn's partner. Clarify the Six of Wands for Capricorn's partner. It is clarified with the Knight of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is someone rushing into your partner or your partner rushing in. Demanding truth. Demanding clarity. Speaking their truth. Spewing facts with direct, harsh communication. Now here's where truth comes out. It's swift. It's bitter. It's harsh. It's direct. It's almost confrontational. It's where you can't get a word in edgewise. But it's truth. So Capricorn, some type of confrontation happening here. Question and answer session. Someone setting the record straight. Someone getting to the bottom of something. Clarify the Knight of Swords for Capricorn's partner. Clarify the Knight of Swords for Capricorn's partner. Clarify the Knight of Swords for Capricorn's partner. Ace of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is truth. This is clarity. This is communication. Now, this could be the sword of decision, the sword of victory. But this could also be the sword that one reels to sever a relationship. So, listen, you know, your partner could tell me that you guys are having this communication. Your partner could tell me that some type of truth and clarity is out here. Your partner could tell me that they're making a decision or using the sword to sever. I feel like something was brought to their attention. They began to recognize something. And there's some type of confrontation happening here, or some type of conversation happening. And yet, Yes, your partner could tell me that, yes, some truth is out, so they're making a decision. Maybe be using a sword to sever and walk away here. It's an offer that they don't want coming in here. Listen, your partner has the world. 
So your partner may be at a distance from you, either emotionally or physically at a distance. Your partner may have traveled recently or will travel in the near future. But the world symbolizes closing out a cycle to start a new cycle, closing out a chapter to start a new chapter. So Capricorn, listen, your partner could tell me it's distance between you guys, maybe some type of travel. Geograph geographical distance or emotional distance. Your partner could tell me that a cycle is closing out completely or someone is wanting to come back around again. Clarify the world for Capricorn's partner. Clarify the world for Capricorn's partner. Clarify the world for Capricorn's partner. It is clarified with the tower. The tower is Aries and Scorpio's energy. This is something that your partner doesn't see coming. Something that catches them completely off guard. Something that just rocks the foundation of you guys' relationship. This is a shock and awe moment. A moment of revelation. Now this can be a shocking shakeup or a breakup. So listen, very well could be a shocking surprise. Shocking revelation, something being revealed here or a breakup. Clarify the tower for Capricorn's partner. Clarify the tower for Capricorn's partner. Clarify the tower for Capricorn's partner. It is clarified with the four cups. Again, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. There's an offer on the table that your partner is not accepting or rejecting. They're contemplating this offer, but actually they're bored with the offer, thinking of missing the offer. But this is also a card of your partner contemplating sending an offer, but they feared that the offer would be rejected. So like I said, either your partner is wanting to send this offer, but they fear it will be rejected, or there's an offer coming into them that they're thinking about missing. I feel like something was brought to your partner's attention and began to recognize something. There was some type of confrontation that caused your partner to walk away. I feel like your partner's, some type of offer here is just blowing your partner. This is blowing me. I mean, is it work or business and some type of financial lack? Like they're finding out something, hindsight, that is just really blowing them. Your partner could also tell me, yes, there was a walking away. Yes, there was a breakup. Yes, there was a confrontation. But maybe they're wanting to come back around again, hoping that you guys can heal things, mend things, work things out. But it just seemed like even with trying to return and work things out, they still have this fear that you won't accept this cup. And it still may be met with some type of argument. So it just seems like nothing is being resolved here. Capricorn, this is a peek at your partner for the week of June the 19th to June the 25th, 2003. 22 you guys give me feedback subscribe like comment and share and i'll see you guys next week peace